from the greatest museum all over the world that is dedicated to showcase treasures of the ancient Egyptian civilization. From treasures that are considered to be unparalleled, from gem, from a place that is second to none. Welcome to Exclusive with Tagreed Hussein. Here at GEM, you are not only dealing with a building or with people, but the main object here is the artifacts that we are displaying. So in every step that we are designing or building this building, we have to consider how we are going to present the uh, artifacts, how, how we are going to conserve them to stay along as much as possible. So uh, we have different displays um, related to how the object should be displayed. So. Uh, our main passage to the galleries is the Grand Stair. It's over like 5,000 meters square. Uh, I have very heavy objects, tons of uh, weight. So the design had to accommodate this weight. So I have to do heavy structure. The, the steps have to be very uh, structured very well in order to accommodate the weights. I have, I think I have over uh, up to 32 tons. So this has to be considered very well. Uh, the plinths were designed to uh, displays the object as beautiful as possible and to try to maintain it as much as possible. Then I have the galleries, of course, whether it's Tooth Gallery, Tutankhamun Gallery, it's over 7,000 meters square. Uh, the artifacts are somehow different, so they are very delicate. Uh, most of them are like gilded or gold. So the design switch it to be into inside showcases. I have several showcases with several sizes. They have uh, temperature, humidity, in order to conserve the artifacts. Uh, the light has to be perfect, same as in uh, the permanent galleries. They are over eight, uh, 18,000 meters square. And of course, uh, this is integrating between heavy objects displayed on plinths and uh, inside showcases for the fragile or small objects. I think I have a lot of things that really distinguish GEM starting from the size and that it's really dedicated to only one culture which is the ancient Egyptian culture. So I'm having thousands and thousands of objects displayed in one place over this huge area. Uh, let's start also that it's not only a museum so it's like a major culture hub. So I have conference building, I can hold conferences, I have libraries, I have the conservation center also related to it. So it's a big establishment that's dedicated to the culture of ancient Egypt. Uh, and then I have, of course, if I'm going to talk about Tutankhamun Gallery, this is the first time that the old uh, artifacts are going to dis be displayed in one place. This is so magnificent. And I have the main galleries that are going to take us through a journey in the ancient history, starting from the pre-dynastic pre era and the old kingdom. Then I'm going to see the middle kingdom the New Kingdom, and then I'm going to end with the Greek and Roman period. So having such long period of time with the magnificent artifacts over this huge area 
is a lot of things there. There is a lot of things that are going to make a gem one of a kind. We're still continuing our tour at Jem, the Grand Egyptian Museum, an unparalleled place all over the world, the greatest museum all over the world. The whole world is paying attention to Jem and anticipating its inauguration. Continuing our tour here on Exclusive. here and treasures at GEM are actually displayed in a very magnificent way that is unparalleled all over the world. Uh, we're really uh, honored to have with us uh, Ms. Mona Nomen, who is uh, the exhibition director here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, on Night TV International and Exclusive. Uh, Ms. Mona, tell me more about uh, the way the pieces are exhibited, the way our treasures are showcased which makes actually GEM um, one of a kind all over the world. Uh, good morning and thank you so much for this chance and welcome to the Grand Egyptian Museum. Uh, I would like to introduce to you the exhibitions of the Grand Egyptian Museum. Uh, actually the display is in a thematic route, uh, but uh, at the beginning we have for sure the obelisk square uh, in the open area outside the building and then you will uh, face the Grand Hall uh, which we are standing now. Uh, and uh, you have a collection of uh, the magnificent statues for uh, royal statues from uh, kings and queens uh, like Ramses II statue and the Ptolemy king and the queen and the columns of King Mirim uh, and also when you have uh, the chance to go to the galleries you will uh, go through a vertical gallery uh, with 108 steps uh, for the grand staircase uh, where we showcase the highlights of the kingship and royalty in ancient Egyptian history. Uh, then you will have the main galleries and King Tutankhamun Gallery. Uh, in King Tutankhamun Gallery, you will have the collection of uh, the king, uh, which consists of more than 5,000 pieces. It's uh, distributed among uh, main themes, uh, highlighting uh, his repairs and also uh, the funeral of the king and the discovery of the tomb, which is a very important topic that related to uh, workers uh, from Egypt and from uh, the British uh, uh, excavations. And also uh, you have uh, a section about his lifestyle, uh, including his main chariots and his uh, wardrobe and clothes and the main tools that he was using during his life and then uh, was accompanying him in his afterlife journey. In the main galleries, actually, we have different stories. Uh, it's uh, introducing the history of Egypt from the pre-history uh, uh, time until the Greek Roman and the late periods. Uh, you will have uh, main themes like the life uh, and uh, the beliefs uh, and also the community and uh, you have the kingship. Uh, we are trying to show how all of the topics are uh, creating this magnificent uh, empire 
and how the community was living and what was the main uh, positions and uh, uh, work crafts uh, among ancient Egypt. Uh, also, uh, let me say uh, we have uh, specific collections uh, that focus the relation between uh, the building here uh, of the Grand Egyptian Museum and the Giza Plateau and the Great Pyramid. Uh, like for in uh, the Old Kingdom Gallery, we have the uh, collection of uh, Queen Hatab Harris, which is the mother of King Khufu. Uh, it consists of uh, a collection of, his, of her uh, seats and jewelry and uh, also uh, some vessels which highlight the importance of the queen and how it, she was buried beside her son. And also if we go through the timeline, we have from the Middle Kingdom very important statues uh, for kings like Snusser the I uh, and the King Amnimhad the First. And also if we go through the New Kingdom, we have a very magnificent uh, objects and collections related to queens and kings. We have a very unique statue for Queen Hatshepsut, uh, which uh, was very important in uh, the history. And if we say Hatshepsut, we remember the journey to Bont. Uh, and the journey to Bont was illustrated uh, on the walls of her temple. Uh, but here in Jem, you will find it illustrated in the walls of the digital streams area. Uh, and in this case, we continue the story with uh, the media and the interactions. Uh, it took long time actually and uh, it was changed during uh, many years. I work here since 2010, so I passed through all the levels of the work. Uh, the exhibition department is working in cooperation in all of the departments of the museum and I would like uh, really to thank everyone working in the Grand Egyptian Museum, uh, starting from the security, the people are relating to uh, uh, the, trans uh, the transportation of the objects and the installations team, the database, everyone really, I don't want to forget anyone, uh, but they all work in a very big harmony. Uh, we started to design uh, the galleries first according to the story we uh, settled in the exhibition department and then we selected the sub-stories and how the scenario will go on and we choose the flow of the visitors, how the flow will be and what is the most important and the key objects that we have to highlight to attract the visitor to continue his visit. As you know, the gym is in a very big uh, space, so uh, the huge space uh, will be difficult a little bit for some people to continue the visit uh, but we are trying to put attracting points inside the gallery to uh, let them continue and now we are working on the process of installing the last part of the main galleries and actually uh, it's a very hard work you you selected we selected the grouping of the objects and every place of uh, every object inside the showcase and how we display it from which side and also the interpretation and the labels the tickets the panels uh, the media, uh, everything, even it reflects afterwards on uh, the brochures and the flyers and the um, uh, public, uh, publishing of the museum and also on the website. Uh, so it's all like one unit uh, working in the same time just to keep the same uh, vision of the museum and introduce it to the visitors. Black land, Egypt, Egyptum, Egyptum, from Egypt, from the land of the civilization, from the cradle of civilization, here are messages of peace and love from Egypt, from the mother of the world, to the whole world, from exclusive with Tagrit Hussein.
Here at GEM, definitely kids uh, find more about the future and, uh, and also, of course, learn about the past, the ancient Egyptian civilization. Lots of activities on the sidelines here for kids visiting GEM. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Imena Abul Hassan, who is uh, the director of the Child Museum at GEM. Uh, tell me more about, uh, of course, the idea of having a special museum for kids. Uh, definitely it has a great impact uh, on the kids during their visit, the activities, what's the main purpose? Uh, at first you are more than welcome, you and all Egyptian, uh, children and family, uh, school visits, um, all are very welcome to the Children's Museum. The idea of having a Children's Museum as a Grand Egyptian Museum it's very important to have something to our real treasure because the children are our real treasure. A uh, children's museum is something exactly like any other museum, but it's dedicated to children. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the museum is, please don't touch, is, but children's museum is, please touch, please interact, uh, please play, enjoy, and have fun. So the main idea was because we would like children to have uh, uh, an experiment that they will never forget about it. Uh, a memory that uh, they will they will remember forever. Uh, here at Jam, we have a space dedicated to uh, to children, and they have a lot of uh, hands-on activities and technology uh, games. And uh, also during their visit, they will have more than activity, and they have STEM. STEM means science, technology, engineering, art, and math and they will have different activities uh, to empower them through the learning experience. Um, and we would like children to learn more about their history and their heritage and to be connected to the heritage because our heritage is very important and not to be um, forget forgettable. Uh, so it's very important to have a children's museum at the Grand Egyptian Museum. Uh, children, children will visit all the galleries, and they will have con they will be connected with the um, collection, and also they will visit the children museum and have activities and have fun during their visit. There is a very exciting experience inside the Children's Museum. Um, in a space, they will face five kings and queen, and they will receive a call from, for example, Ramses II, Seknerata, Queen Nefertari, and through the phone call, they will learn more about her life, for example, uh, her achievement, how she helped the king, or she was a queen, a king, a queen, yeah, we, king, we, queen. king and queen, because yeah. uh, Queen Hatshepsut called herself King Hatshepsut. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and this is very, uh, very interactive. And uh, uh, children, while they visited the Children's Museum for, um, for two, year, two months ago, we saw in their faces that they are um, interacting and enjoying the phone call uh, through these five kings and the queens. That was our tour at GEM on exclusive with Tagrit Hussein, a place second to none. The Grand Egyptian Museum remains unparalleled all over the world, always a source of pride. Join us on another edition of Exclusive.